It's crazy fan girl shine. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today is the finale of the Book of Boba Fett, episode chapter seven. Um, there's no title, obviously, as usual. But what a week it has been building up to this episode, guys. I've honestly, <sighs> Star Wars community can be. Yeah, I don't know the word for it. It can be very mind tumbling, um, which is why I try to stay off Twitter as much as possible whenever, like, this sort of stuff comes out. Like, especially when Mandalorian season two finished, I stayed away from that shit for ages. And even when I came back, it was like a month after they were still talking about season two finale, and I was like, oh my god, like, these fans need to chill. Um, for me personally, I will just say one thing about it, like. I, I loved last week's episode, and I've loved the show that we've had so far, um, even though I have my critiques about it. Like, I wish that we had more time with Boba, especially in the last episode, or at least a little bit more time, and especially that ending was meh. Um, and I do wish that we did leave that Jedi part, like the Jedi training, and also maybe even just all the stuff with Luke and Ahsoka for later. But anyway, this is the finale of this season. Um, now, they have said that this is like only like a one-time thing, like they're not going to make a season two. Um, if they do, that'll be pretty sick. It'll be interesting to see where they go with it, but I'm, I feel like it's only going to be one season. Um, and it is a 60-minute episode, which I am glad, because I was like, if it's going to be like, like a 40-minute episode, I'm going to be a little disappointed, because how the heck are you going to round everything up in that time? But 61 minutes seems pretty good. So I'm fingers crossed, just hoping that it's well written and it finishes off strong. Um, and obviously a lot of people are very excited, because now that Boba Fett is finishing, it means that promos for Obi-Wan can finally drop, and I'm personally excited for that. But anyway, let's jump straight into this episode, because I'm super excited, super nervous, but yeah, let's get into it. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. It's very true. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, the Pikes did it. Oh. oh my god, is Luke joining the fight? Oh. Oh, wait, R2 brought him back. Oh. <laughs> Grogu. <gasps> the armor! He chose it! That is sweet. I love that. <laughs> I paid land oh, that was a good shot. I will only negotiate with the head of the bike syndicate. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family and blamed it on a speed bike gang? Oh! Lol, oh, Boba. Oh, Boba. I can take him. Come on, Boba, don't, don't, don't! <sighs> Most Eisley? Yes, now that I think of it, <laughs> He's so slimy, I hate him. Go, Finnick, go, girl! Oh! Is that Finnick? Oh, that was sick. Yes, girl! Thank you. Manners. I like it. <laughs> against the creed oh i was going to say um I was, because of what din said about the the um the treaty saying like it was the right move for the others to betray boba is because like he's still in the mindset of being a bounty hunter i know how messed up that sounds but for boba he's moved away from that sort of thinking so he's trying to think of the side of peace everything he's learned from the tuscan raiders of moving to sort of like a way of negotiation 
peace, that sort of thing. But then Din, he's still living in this world of violence and backstabbing, essentially. And just, yeah, he's he's a little bit more in that area where he's like, he doesn't trust everybody. And yeah, it's just that brotherhood. That's the thing. Like, that's what I was talking about last week. Um, There's that sort of brotherhood between these two men who come from the same world, from very different, obviously, bringing ups um, with different parents, obviously, and different, like, communities that they've been with. Um, and yet they're still from, sort of, like, from the same fruit, as there's that saying. They're cut from the same fruit. Um, but just, like, they have, they're very different. Um, and I love that about their stories. And I love that they're both here together. Anyway. You sure you want to stay? This is the way. <laughs> oh, Dan! If only he knew who was on the same planet as him right now. Surrender. I wish to oh. present to whomever spoke to Oh no, wait, maybe they're gonna catch some surprise with this, maybe. Vice train. If you refuse these to the arid sands of Tatooine will once again flourish with flowered fields fertilized with the bodies of your dead. Oh, that was beautifully written. <laughs> oh Jesus! Nice! Go, Boba! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, Jesus! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, Boba! <laughs> so good! Oh, nice! <laughs> I think that's a bit of overkill, but there you go. <laughs> Dead? Oh, I thought he survived. Oh, yes, Burma. Don't let him die, please. Oh, Dead's covering him too. Yes. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, Lord. We got real problems. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that shot. Oh, everyone's guns held up. That was sick. Oh, nice! Yes! Where's he going? What? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I have feeling to use my eyes, god damn it! <laughs> oh my god! I gotta agree with her! <laughs> Save it! Oh! God did save the baby. Oh God! What's it doing? Oh, what is that? <gasps> the rancor! Oh! <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> Yay! Come on, Din! Yes! Oh, yes, Burba! Destroy it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ooh, the showdown we've all been waiting for. Oh! Shit. That's true, I won't lie. Cad Bane is one of the best bounty hunters. Oh! I forgot he carries that on his back. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! That was so good. I have to say, I know, like, this has been building up for ages. Like, the, the showdown between these two. And I, I had a feeling that Cad was going to die in this episode. Um... And also just because he's been in the Star Wars universe for so freaking long. And it's like, you know, when, how did he die and who killed him? 
I think it's perfect that Boba killed him, especially after everything that they've been through. Um, I know a lot of people wanted, like, flashbacks to that time when they were together, but I sort of like that. We we already know that they had business together and they had, like, sort of, like, that sort of, what's it called, relationship with each other, where Cad did take him under his wing as a bounty hunter and stuff, and he did learn stuff from Cad. But now it's like, Boba's older and he's different, and yes, I think, like, in my mind... Boba will always be like, be a killer, be seen as a killer anyway. Um, but he'll do anything to protect his own people, and that's most important. And you know, yeah, and that's also something that has been with Boba all the time. Like he is Jango Fett's son. He will be the son of the great Jango Fett, and he is Boba Fett as well. So it's like a big deal. And he has created his own legacy. We'll go into it more at the end of the episode, but just I don't know that fine that moment of showing, like, how much he's come through, like, through this whole story and come full circle with everything. Just, that was great. No, don't shoot the Rancor! The Thank you, Din. Oh, this is like a King Kong moment. <laughs> oh my god. Gregor! No, you little cutie, stop! Oh. <sighs> Oh, thank the Lord, Grogu. <laughs> oh. oh, this precious boy. Oh, you precious little thing. Is that Finnick? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that's so fucking dark. <laughs> oh, she certainly took care of business. <laughs> oh, they're rebuilding. Oh, they're showing respect to Boba, finally! <laughs> I'm not gonna sue them for this. This is the last time. Uh... <laughs> nice a very good finisher for this show honestly I really enjoyed it and I really liked the, the finale they actually finished it off quite well oh who is using it <gasps> Cobb oh they're fixing it up Oh, thank the Lord! I was so worried. That was my one thing. I was like, are you serious? Nice. I'm so happy about that. For a second, I was like, who's that? Because I was like, Chris Anton is fine, so he probably used it. But then who's in there? Convent. <laughs> I think there were a few questionable things in the script this time around. I don't know why. There were some things that were said, and I was like, huh? Why are they saying that? But other than that, it was really good. The pace was really good. And I was surprised by how well, um, in terms of, like, the climatic shots happen, in terms of a writing, like, point of view. That was really, really well done. Um, and that was what I was worried about. Because sometimes with these sort of shows or finales, the climactic moments drop suddenly, and it's not sort of brought down properly. And all throughout it was really good we had some great moments for obviously boba and then mando and then um even for the people who did come in and help we had great moments for everybody um so it was a great spread of sort of like character moments for everybody who was involved in this episode most of all i'm happy that obviously boba got to shine more um in this episode and we did get to see sort of him struggling with a few things um especially with the stuff with the tuscan raiders and finding out that it was the pike syndicate that went after them and killed them i think overall as a series i really enjoyed it i think the one problem i had was last week's episode especially trying to stop looking at twitter with the amount of criticism and mixture of responses but i will say overall as a series, I really enjoyed it. And I know a lot of people were complaining about the slow pace of character development for Boba, but I thoroughly enjoyed it in the first five episodes and how we got to see sort of him change and why he changed and how the Tusken Raiders really um, affected him as a character and seeing how 
even just how we saw like how Django leaving constantly as a bounty hunter really affected Boba. We saw that in the very early episode. So I really enjoyed seeing that and the impact of it. And even just seeing like I think like just even the impact of Django being a, a bounty hunter um, and how much trouble it caused for Boba and him um, and sort of seeing that as a parallel to what happened with like different characters for example and I think I love that parallel with Din because with Din we saw in the Mandalorian that you know he was brought in because his parents died um, and he was saved but he was put into this position where he was brought up in this religion he doesn't really understand what it is until he's older and then realizing that he doesn't really need to stick to the to the creed he can stick to his own creed which is being loyal to the people he cares about and finds important in his circle of people um and sort of seeing how both these men have chosen their own paths for themselves is really interesting because even with boba at the beginning, he tried to go back to bounty hunting. That we saw in the flashbacks. He tried to go back. He tried to leave. But because he was staying with the Tusken Raiders, he learned that, you know, there was an importance to having loyalty, even to oneself, but also to the people around you. Because I think, because he was a bounty hunter for so long, had grown up in that world for so long, he never had, like, a family before. As I said, in Clone Wars, he did stick with more bounty hunters and it was this circle of really messed up bounty hunters um and he did see them as a family he he constantly as a child i don't know how old he was in the clone wars but he was so young that he was calling them family and it was like oh buddy that ain't your family that's a messed up group of people who are only doing it for the money and doing it for sort of like that that um the name that they'll get from killing Mace Window, which is what he was doing in the Clone Wars. Um, trying to kill him, but he ended up in jail. And seeing the themes all weave together and seeing all that. And I know that obviously there was, again, a lot of criticism about the different characters that were involved this season. But I think take away, for me personally, take away Ahsoka and Luke out of the series. I think all the characters were very important to um, Boba and seeing the parallels between them. Especially because... I think I know <laughs> a lot of people like really didn't like a lot of moments throughout the series. There was a lot of complaining, honestly, I won't lie. But seeing the amount of respect that Boba had built for himself, but also like learning more about himself and growing respect for everybody who was around him. For example, all the characters that ended up in this final episode, like Chrysanthemum and then that um, bike gang, I can never remember what it's called, but he grew respect for those people, especially those, that young girl and those kids, like, you know, like, I, but then he took his helmet off and he realized that they would just like him when he was younger and even just like him when he f found the Tusken Raiders or was found by them and he could see that within him and even that symbol, the amount of times he took his helmet off was to humanize himself and show that he is Boba Fett, not the bounty hunter, but just a simple man who has, you know, he wants, if he wants something, he will, you know, peacefully ask for it and work towards it. Um, but also, again, just showing that humanity towards other people. Another thing was the fact that he looks like a clone and he sounds like a clone. So that's also another thing, identifying himself away from that whole entire time of the clones and sort of creating this new identity for himself. Overall, in my opinion, I thoroughly enjoyed this series and I cannot wait for what else is in store for us. And I love that we did get to see like Boba's story flourish and see him grow as a character. Again, my only criticism was that, especially because with Ahsoka and Luke meeting, I expected that to be more special. So to have seen that last episode, like especially after going back and watching it and seeing it again, like it was a beautiful moment, don't get me wrong, but I was like, I expected this to be in her series or expected it to be a bigger moment because it was like, oh, like everyone, like I remember I, I went and looked at other people's reactions and everyone was like, wait, so she's met Luke, but mm, like, you know, it would have been nicer. I, I, I understand why they did it, but at the same time, it's like next time leave that for like another series, another moment. But um, <laughs> just... Yeah, there was, a, there was some really beautiful moments in this episode and I loved it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the final episode of The Book of Boba Fett and also just overall with the series. What did you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. I'm always open to it. Um, a quick thing, I have joined the app TikTok um, because I just thought it would be fun and it took me two hours to learn how to use it. 
<gasps> so that's happened. Um, you can see my video right here, and you can look in the description below. The link is down there if you want to follow me there and see extra content. Um, obviously there'll be- I will say, in terms of a bounty hunting perspective, um, I love that, in a way, Cad Bane's death was like the pin- the final pin in showing that Boba was finished with that life, with bounty hunting. Because constantly, Cad Bane was constantly saying like, I have this job and like I have the upper hand all the time, like I'm faster than you and stuff. He may be faster, but Boba Fett is ten times the man than Cad Bane ever would be. <laughs> and I also love, I know a lot of people are going to be like, why wasn't Finnick a lot in this episode? But I love that she was given that mission to take out the Pike Syndicate. And she went and took them out because it reminded me so much of... I'm not sure if people have watched it. Um, the Bad Batch series, I did react to it. So if you want to go check that out, you're more than welcome to. But, um, <laughs> there's, so, like, she had so many cool moments in that show. And to see it, this, in live action, was sick. So that was really, really good. And I really enjoyed seeing her in action. <sighs> well, now that Book of Boba Fett is finished, we now get to wait for Obi-Wan. And I'm so excited because it's going to be sick. Um, that's going to be so much fun to watch. And I cannot wait for the trailer to drop for that. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, the Obi-Wan series like, trailer is going to drop right after this. And it's like, no, it's not. It's, it's nothing connected to Boba Fett. Why would it be dropped at the end of this series? Like, it makes sense that Boba Fett was dropped at the end of Mando Season 2, but not this. Why would it drop? So, obviously, in the next few weeks, we're probably going to get a trailer, which is sick, and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I think for now, I'm going to end it here. Um, again, leave your thoughts down below. I would love to hear people's thoughts in the final episode. But for now, I'm going to finish up. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!